Hey there, we are going to do a little walk around prepping my parents' property for, oh, got a bonfire going. It's April in Michigan right now. Let me see if I can I'll flip this around. It is, I don't even know what it is, 35, 40 degrees. I am all bundled up, ready to go here. Got the bonfire going. My dad got our little girls out here and uh, made them start chopping wood and collecting sticks to get a fire going. So what we're doing though, quick, is need to repair this shed and uh, and see what the uh, issue is with this, with the roof there, let's put the new shingles on and we're prepping it for the neighbor app. We are prepping it for uh, renting a bunch of this stuff out. So we used to board horses here when I was a kid growing up and we had stalls back here. They have four nice stalls in their barn. We have the shed here and they've got 10 acres. So they have a ton of land out back and there's another little a little shed, a little day uh, shed for the horses up on top of the hill. So I uh, was prepping all these things to eventually rent out and create our own little storage facility area basically. So um, just prepping in general, right? Just firewood, um, utilizing all the resources we have. And then our, the garden is going to be back on that side. That's the neighbor's uh, garden and greenhouse actually and then our garden's gonna be back there on the hill you can kind of see it back on the other side of the house on the west side of the house so let's go check out some of these little areas and see what needs to be done to fix them up so we can start renting them out creating uh just extra streams of passive income that's the thing it's as we always talk about obviously how can we create extra streams of passive income how can we do that how can we do this how can we do that how can we be creative how can we think outside the box TLC there, obviously. Check in here and see what's going on. Oh, yeah, needs a little, needs a little work. So clear that out. Put some new plywood up here, new shingles. It'll be good to go. About my old shed. Here we already have trailers and boats that people will store back here. We'll do that area as well. And then the stalls in the barn. We have the hay barn over here that we might end up doing as well. So, and then the shed back out behind. Here's the corral. So that area can easily have, I would say, you know, three to four big trailers or RVs in there easily. Nice and flat area. You see the boats already in back and trailers and stuff like that the tractors there's a little shed back there as well I'll fix that up all right so here's one of the stalls they used to board horses in stall here as well and then we have the two stalls back here as well so we have one over here one over there we're fixing the tractor up right now the Massey getting that nice and ready to go for the year let's go check out the other stuff here Stove for one of our rental properties right here. Got one of the other Masseys in here. Probably gonna end up cleaning this out, throwing a bunch of that away. The hay barn here, stack, used to stack hay in there. Used to have a chicken coop in here. Getting that back up and running. And we're tearing all this fencing down. The rest of it, the fencing used to go all along here. We ripped a bunch of that out. That way people can drive in, park stuff here along here, which will be hidden from the house actually. And then they'll be able to circle around to get into the back side where the stalls are. And then they will loop around to come out actually. The old farm hall here is the back side where people will pull in and they'll come in and be able to get their stuff and then just come out right through this area and then come back out around the barn. We see the tracks going. And there's, that's where the garden will be out there, right on this hill. There's a little hill that kind of goes up here actually. And then here's the last little area. Like I said, we used to have dirt bike tracks out here and used to bale the hay. We had a baseball field out here and we hunt out here. And uh, now we're transforming it once again. Another transformation project. We'll get some more plywood on this. Get some more shingles on here. People can store stuff in here, nice and protected. So that's the plan. 
So that's it guys, just a quick little tour um, of the property, everything we have going on here and the, the areas we're storing stuff, obviously you see all around here, trying to utilize every area possible. Um, you know, the garden back here um, and just start small and haven't gardened in years. Uh, my dad and my mom used to garden a lot more and I haven't gardened in years since I was a kid actually. So just, you know, starting small there, probably a, a five, I don't even know what's gonna be, 10 by 10 plot, something like that, where we can, all of us can kind of manage it. And then, um, you know, we have all these areas we're gonna start renting out and using the neighbor app. So I'm just excited to use that app and start generating another stream of income and provide service for people. So we'll see what ends up happening with that and keep updated on that app and how that works. I've seen some really cool stuff about it. I don't know tons and tons of people that are using it yet, but it looks like a really cool thing. Just like Uber, it's gonna disrupt self storage over time. If people use that instead of using, you know, self storage facilities. So it's be very interesting to see how that goes, see how that works. We'll see you guys on the next one.